Tia, so great to be here with you. Good to see you. Yeah? I have so many questions for you. Why launch a new level two EV charging company when the market is so saturated? Exactly, so the market is super saturated, but that's in every other condition except a city. So if you live in the suburbs, if you're talking about the highways, there's a billion other solutions out there, but the cities across the United States are being completely ignored. And so that's why it's electric exists, to focus on areas with dense on-street parking, dense traffic. Gotcha. So talk to me a little bit about what makes your business model unique, right? You have a detachable cord, but there's other aspects as well. So talk to me a little bit about that. Yeah, the two big differentiators for us are design and community. Number one is design, is we have a small bollard style curbside charger. It's supposed to fit in with our fabric. It doesn't look like a gas pump. And two, it's a detachable cord. We detach on both ends. Uh, when the charger is not in use, the cable's in the car with the driver and it's not on street. Um, so that's the design aspect to it. And community is the way that we actually power our chargers. This charger is not connected to the utility in the street. That's how all other chargers in the city, outside the city, everywhere else need to make their connections. This is an 18 month permitting process and it's incredibly costly. And this is what slows cities down in the deployment of infrastructure. But the beauty of its electric is that that infrastructure barrier we completely avoid because we power our chargers from spare capacity in buildings like this. This is an old bank building uh, that was erected in the 1980s. Uh, it's been sitting here basically abandoned in Sunset Park. And now we're powering three chargers from the spare capacity. So a level two charger is the same power as electric dryer. It's the same yeah. as if I put in a dryer in the basement of this building, but instead of it being a dryer, I have that appliance sitting on street and it's a public charger. And why would the building let me do this? Because I'm revenue sharing with them. Yep. So they're getting passive income every month just by hosting this small charger on their curb. So. What are some challenges that you've been able to overcome by deploying this first location that you hope to implement into your next locations? Absolutely. I mean, the biggest challenge is seeing is believing. Everyone that we spoke to across the board said, well, that seems like a really simple and logical idea. If it's so easy, why isn't everyone doing it? Mm -hmm. And the reason is because no one thought to do it. Yeah. Um, and so everyone said, well, let's see it and then we'll and then we'll and we'll and then we'll believe. So we had to install our first installation here. Our, our partner in New York City is the Economic Development Corporation. This is their property, so they're letting us use their building to deploy these chargers. And now we know that it works, and things are moving incredibly fast now that we've got these first chargers in the ground. And you were here for our ribbon cutting I was, two months I was. ago. You uh, witnessed yeah. the first charge, which is very exciting. Yes. So how does someone get a handle on this handle? <laughs> Great question. <laughs> so um, ultimately. Vehicle OEMs will provide this level two cable the same way they do in the EU and the UK. Right now in the US, you just get that level one trickle mm -hmm. charger in your car. But ultimately, once there is a network of sockets to plug into, you'll get this in your car. But until then, as a stopgap, it's electric gives that to the drivers when they sign up to work with us. Gotcha. So final question. In the next five years, do you hope to be the only ones doing this or do you think the market has adopted what you're doing here in the US with a detachable port? Well, it is the predominant way to charge in the EU and the UK for urban areas. So we are absolutely the first in North America. We keep looking around and waiting for everyone else to jump on board. No one has done it yet. We are right now the only people in North America with a detachable cord. We're the only curbside bollard that's also built America by America to meet the Biden provisions. And we're the only behind the meter solution, meaning we're the only company right now that's powering our chargers from building. I like to say cars powered by buildings. Those two combinations together are what we feel make us very, very, very centered on cities because no one in a city wants something that looks like a gas pump yep. on a residential block. We're in a more industrial area right now, mm -hmm. but when you look at your more residential areas, your townhomes, your multi-unit dwellings, you want something small, discreet. You want this to feel like basically the fire hydrant of 2023. Yeah. And that's what we're going for. Well, I'm sure you're gonna get there. It's so great chatting with you. Yeah, thank, thank you, you for so coming. much for the time. Yeah, a pleasure.